Hey YouTube, what's up? Blue Witch here. So I just got up and I wanted to share a dream that I had. It was pretty crazy. But I feel like it's relevant to this channel. So I'm going to go ahead and share it. It's probably, it's not going to be a regular thing. I don't usually share dreams with anyone except for my husband kind of thing. Or family, friends. But anyway, so. Um, in this dream... Um, I was in a in a building like some kind of a hotel or something like that and he, everybody was going crazy and they were banging on the walls on the doors let us in let us in and so I was up I opened the door and let them in they came running through and this chick went in the elevator and she's like hurry 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 pushing the buttons you know trying to get the doors to close and then in walked in another person that looked exactly like her and then I'm looking around and noticing in all the crowd of the people that came rushing through that everyone had a twin. And I was like, what the fuck is that? What's going on around here? So I went outside and it was like utter chaos. Like everybody was going crazy. Everyone's driving like lunatics, trying to get out of traffic. Um, and every there was two of everyone. So, and then I noticed that there were, that there were other beings there, like gods and goddesses. Um, and they were uniting people with their self. They were like, um, like bringing the new person with the old person together. And then they would absorb them into one. And it was really cool. And then once the person was absorbed... Um, into the new, you know, together. Once the boat, two selves were were put together, um, the person seemed fine. Like everything was okay, and they felt fine, and everything was good. The government was trying to keep everyone separated, and issuing some type of identification for the first person. They said that if you didn't have this, that you weren't going to be able to get into grocery stores to buy food and all these things. Um, and then, and then, um, I was like, okay, they were giving me one of these identifications. Oh, and then another thing that happened was, um, was, um, there was, it, it had hailed when this occurred. The instant this all occurred, it hailed really bad, I guess. And so the, these two guys, I heard them talking about how inside of the hail balls were gems, like jewels, you know, like birthstones and shit. And so I went outside and I got a couple of them. They were good sized, um, hail balls. I brought them in and, um, and defrosted them. And sure enough, there was two little gems you know, they're pretty good sized gems, but they were my gem, my birthstone. So I thought that was interesting. Um, and, um, so then that happened and, um, let's see, but yeah, I think that, um, and then it was just, there was a lot to it. Like each phase, each, each thing had its own little phase of the dream, but it was all one dream. But like all the gods and goddesses were there and they were uniting you with your other self. And then once you were absorbed, you were fine. And, and if anything, I think you were like wiser and, and prettier and stronger and just like a, a, almost like a super being kind of sort of, but normal, if that makes sense. Anyways, I never think about things like this. I never worry about, you know, this kind of thing or it's never like... I don't watch TV, I don't, you know, these thoughts don't, you know, it's not like, oh, I probably watched a scary movie or ate something or blah, you know, no. I don't do that, I don't watch TV for one, and I don't, I don't listen to the news, um, I do get on Facebook occasionally, um, but anyway, so, so I have no explanation for the dream, but when I woke up, I was told um, by spirit that um, when the world collides with the other whatever the alternate universe or the other world or the other dimension or whatever you want to call it when that happens occasionally it happens like something will come over there that's not supposed to be here 
and then when that happens they have to put him with the, its twin and then when it's when they put him with the twin it they absorb together and become one and it makes them like a better person or or whatever um but it does occasionally happen and then um anyways so that was my dream and it was that's crazy I know but whatever so if the world collides the matrix falls or whatever and you see your twin don't freak out it's not a zombie it's not an alien it's just the other dim the dimensions came together and now they have to be absorbed into you because they have no place to go because their dimension is gone and so that's why the gods and goddesses were there to help you guys to help us become one with them and it was not a bad thing once it happened everybody it, once it happened they were fine you know it wasn't they weren't scared anymore um, they were fine they just felt like oh okay like then they understood what was going on kind of thing you know um, and while I'm sitting here talking to you I realized that two of my kind of my my spell table candles I don't want to call this, this isn't really my altar, it's kind of an altar. This is where I do a lot of my spells and stuff, where my servitors are, but my candles have scorpion tails. That means that somebody is plotting against me. Hmm. Would you like to see? This one has a scorpion tail here. I don't know if you can see it, can you see it? And then this one does too. They both do. Hmm. Well, that's okay. I don't really worry about these kinds of things because I have shit in place, you know. That's a shame because whenever somebody tries to do something to me, it goes back to them really bad. With extras, if you know what I mean. I feel sorry for them. It's so sad. But that's crazy. They're identical. <laughs> They're twins, just like what I was just talking about. Weird. Is are they identical? Yes, pretty close. Pretty darn close. Anyways, so that was my dream. As you can see, it's a beautiful sunny day here out in the witch shop, and I love it, and it's gorgeous. And I've got to go take a shower and get ready for my husband's coming home tonight so from work he's been working all week so I'm gonna go home go in the house take a shower get beautiful for him and um, yeah I just wanted to share my dream with you because I feel like it's relevant um, you know take it with a grain of salt but peace out